Hey girlies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a long time. How you been? You look good. <laughs> I haven't used YouTube in so long, it almost feels like I forgot what I'm doing. Not that I knew what I was doing before, but now if I did know something, I don't know anything. I'm confused. I'm lost. Anyways, because that fan was on during the entire intro of this video, and I'm on crunch time, so we're not re recording it. No. So today, we're going to see Matthew Gray Goobler. That is so random. I know it's random, but that's what we're going to do. Basically, he's having like a book signing in New like New York, New Jersey, whatever. That's where I'm going. I've never met, I don't think I've ever met a celebrity before. Like, not that I remember at least which says a lot about the celebrity not as much about me like how did i meet you and it just wasn't memorable but either way i'm excited oh my gosh he's basically having like a book signing for his new book and i'm getting it and i'm gonna i'm gonna get it signed and i'm scared like would it be weird to ask for a picture like hey can i get a picture with you and if so how do y'all be asking celebrities for stuff like i just don't want to be a burden like imagine he's sitting down i'm like oh can i get a picture now he has to stand up oh my god there's just so much i just i don't want to feel like i'm harassing him you know what i'm saying but like look at that i don't know i'm scared i, I just get so nervous like my anxiety doesn't even make sense i can't even tell you why i'm this anxious to see him like i'm just so damn delusional that i there's only two ways this interaction could go way number one a he hates my guts like i walk up and he's just already annoyed and he's just like hi and then the second way things could go is he could fall in love with me like instantly and then want to marry me by the end of the day and i don't know if i can say yes like i i just don't know but I'm just delusional. Like I live in the land of Delulu that I think this is actually gonna happen. And those are like the only two outcomes that could possibly happen. Nothing else can happen, I'm so sorry. Like you also don't wanna seem like a creep. Cause you know, to a celebrity, you can easily be creepy. I just think it's funny that I'm like so anxious about meeting this random person and I have nothing to be afraid of. Like I'm old enough to be his child. He's the same age as my mom, literally. In fact, he's older than her by like a couple weeks. So why am I this nervous to go and meet my father? You know when you think someone's cute, so you're like, oh yeah, let me watch all the other stuff that they're in so I can just see how cute they are. She was an Alvin and Chipmunk, she was Simon. Simon was always my favorite chipmunk. Like he was always my favorite chipmunk. Like Alvin was hard headed, theater work, bro. Put the sandwich down. Why the rest of the niggas is singing and you're over here hell bent on this? Leave the sandwich alone. It's gonna be back when you come back from your performance. Put the sandwich down. <laughs> and then Simon was just so smart. I just love a smart person. I did not have a crush on the chipmunk. I don't know what, but yo, I was actually obsessed with the chipmunks, and I was obsessed with the chipmunks before I even watched Criminal Minds. Like this had nothing to do with Matthew. It was just the fact that I just liked the chipmunks, bro. And I remember when I was younger, I used to listen to the chipmunk version of like just regular songs. Like any song you could think of, I used to put, I used to like go to YouTube and I used to type in like super bass, Nicki Minaj, chipmunk version. But you know what too? I honestly, I was a slow kid because when I was a little kid, I used to think that like they found like three chipmunks and they trained it to like sing and dance mm -hmm. but now that i'm older obviously i know that isn't true but huh, when i was younger please i know they trained them chipmunks to just sing and dance like and for some reason yo i don't know how much flow rider was paying them fucking chipmunks but they was always singing a flow rider song yo you know my favorite chipmunk cover was like sos by rihanna like they was singing their heart out they really was like they was singing well it wasn't even they it was really just the one girl what was her name it was the female virgin of simon she was singing her little tail off
but what's been going on with me like what's been going on in my life honestly i've just been busy i've had school and work which has just been oh like the two of them together i'm gonna need to pick one or the other like this is actually a lot I don't know it's senior year like i'm trying to balance my schoolwork and for right now like i'm doing great but like final season final season is nowhere close but it's closer than you think 12 50 and i'm supposed to leave the house at one o'clock that is not fucking happening at all like i don't even know why that was a plan now what i will say is besides school and like work and everything like that like, I've just been keeping to myself because I've noticed that a lot of people, when you call them and you need them, they're never there for you. But let them call you and you answer the phone and they're pouring their heart and soul into the phone about, oh my God, like, I just have no one there for me. You're the only one there for me. Bitch, that's funny because you're not there for me. And it's not like every relationship is a give or take, but it's kind of like, I don't know like you can come to me you can vent you can cry to me about everything and when i need to do the same you're not there i do not like where i currently live like i need to get up and pack up and move like i live in the fucking ghetto my eyebrows even yo sometimes i'll be feeling like when i do my eyebrows i feel like i'm gonna fly away i don't know what i'm wearing i kind of want to wear like a crop top maybe baggy jeans but then what if it rains so i'm thinking maybe a skirt but i also you remember how i told y'all i fell at post malone well fargo stadium mountain-esque stairs in my doc martin boots why the hell i like went down i done twisted my leg all types of twisted ways in my doc martin boots and i just fell down the stairs in the Wells fargo center in front of all the bad bitches it was so embarrassing the exact same shirt lol well i low-key my knees started hurting again so i'm wearing like a knee brace and i'm not gonna want to like i don't want to wear that with a skirt i'm actually super anxious i'm trying to be calm because i know i have nothing to like be scared of but my anxiety be kicking my ass sometimes sometimes i feel like i want to try to do my makeup a certain way but like i feel like the way that i do it when it warms into my skin tone it's just perfect and then also when I do my makeup, obviously I'm doing it because I'm going somewhere. So it's not even time for me to like fuck around. Cause now just me at the fucking Applebee's looking like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm basically ready. I'm wearing my favorite fucking hat. I'm ready to go. I have my book. Hey, why are you piling it? Wave the hand. Hello, New Jersey. <laughs> speaker in your face I like the do we ha hey how are you doing i love that hat what's up man's was loving the hat like he reminded me every chance he got yeah hello nettie bear Thank guys hey my friend nettie bear quick pan to nettie bear swish pan oh our hats are kind of matching low key check it out yeah yeah, yeah. mysterious nettie bear do i look mysterious always how about now i'm trying to get extra mysterious yeah you get a picture? super mysterious super mysterious stop because he was literally like the nicest person i ever met and we are all besties now and he said we were besties and he drew me this tattoo i asked him to draw a butterfly but i think it looks like a crab but either way i'm still gonna get it tatted but thank you for watching this video more content coming soon bye